Hello, Fairless. Today is Friday, February 23rd, and, and this, this is, is Falcon, Falcon Media. Media. On today's show, we have Idiot Test, Pets featuring Kane Stotzer, He Said, She Said, Car of the Week with Josh Wangard, Jazz Band Coffeehouse Concert Highlights, NBA Trivia, and Scene of the Week featuring Alyssa Stores. Welcome to the Idiot Test! So, a cowboy rode into town on Friday, stayed for three days, and left on Friday. How is this possible? So, so what ended up happening was he fell asleep on a porch and he ended up waking up th three days later, ended up being a Friday. He stayed only three days? He didn't stay any longer? He didn't, you're not telling me anything specific here. No, only stayed for three days, and then left on Friday. It was Friday the day of his horse? Yes. The horse's name is Friday. Yes, it is. So he rode into town on Friday, stayed for three days, and left on Friday. The horse's name's Friday? Is that right? It was a talent if I cheated. <laughs> yeah. His horse's name is Friday. Yes. The horse's name is Friday. Okay. So, Mr. Cowboy rides into town on Friday, stays for three days, and leaves on Friday. The horse's name is Friday. Cool. You're wrong, also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are. What is it? He wasn't even riding a horse. Oh, he's riding. Was <laughs> that right? So, tell me what kind of pets you have. Um, well, the paint, the pain, yeah. The pet that I personally have that I got was my bearded dragon, Anna, but we also have a dog and a turtle. The dog's name is Macy, and the turtle's name is Horace. What's something funny your pets do? Well, uh... My bearded dragon really likes to run around her cage and there's a section where there's a rock that goes upward and there's a hard angle and a hard drop. She always overshoots the drop and falls in like on her side and then I'll have to come over and like scoop her out and move her. And then she'll just keep repeating that for like an hour and my dog just lays everywhere and sleeps. Especially she likes to lay on my back and sleep on my back. And the turtle, he just chills. If your pet could talk, What's one thing you'd ask them? Um, I'd ask my bearded dragon why she gets so spastic whenever you put crickets in her cage. Because, like, you drop the crickets in, she'll immediately look and then just run after them. My dog, I'd ask why you sleep so much. And the turtle, I'd just be like, how long have you just been chilling in this thing? Because that turtle is older than me, and my dad has had it ever since he was in high school. On a scale of 1 to 10, how cool are your pets? Um, Anna has to be a good eight or above. My dog Macy, ten. I love her ever since the day we got her. And then Horace, I haven't really got him out of his cage or much, but he sits there and chills. We'll let him outside too, like he'll run around our yard. Well, not run, but walk. And he has to be like from like the six to eight range. So, eh, seven, put it in the middle. Out of all your pets, who's your favorite? Uh, my dog Macy has to be my favorite because I've known my dog the longest, but my bearded dragon I just got like last year, and 
I didn't watch her grow up because she was with a different owner, but my dog's definitely my favorite. Anything else you'd like to say about your pets? Um, Anna can get very annoying sometimes because she likes to like run around her cage, especially when you're trying to fall asleep. Like she'll just get up and start running around and making a lot of noise. I'm like I just want to sleep. Why must you do this to me? My dog, her bark sounds like a like a turkey, and still my turtle just chills. Thanks, Kane. Who apologizes first after an argument? Who's more annoying? Who holds grudges longer? Who plans dates more often? Who forgets more often? <laughs> Who's the better driver? <laughs> Who says I love you first more often? <laughs> Who complains more? My 2004 Chevy trap wagon. Alright, Josh, what kind of car you got? 2004 Chevy Cavalier. Alright, Josh, can I look through your car? If you have to. Well, do you want me to? Sure, why not? Oh, wow. You and Tucker both got the same idea, bro, with them light bulbs. Whatever. There's nothing in here. There's. All right, that's all you need. Just registration. Mm -hmm. If they have the same idea, does that mean you failed twice to like anything? Maybe. And then we got the black ice that crushed your first truck. Yeah. Rest, in, rest in peace, S10. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Josh. What kind of music you got in here? Uh, whatever's on the radio. All right. You might have broke something. <laughs> Alright, Josh, can we take this monster for a spin? Uh, yeah. Alright, let's go. Seatbelts! <laughs> Thank you, Kyle, the safety I didn't control. Hear you click, Josh. Put it on! Alright, it's on. Chill. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Anywhere, just go, man. Let this beast burn. Josh, can I get in your trunk? Yeah. 
Dude, this is gonna be my favorite part of the day. Like, getting kidnapped, it's my favorite pastime. My mom used to put me in trunks when she didn't want to see me, actually, so... You know, this, this is a daily! Like, come on, close it! LeBron James. Not Bright Westbrook? Oh, it's probably LeBron. Russell Westbrook. Westbrook. LeBron? Oh, Harden. Oh, Harden. James Harden. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Dude, I don't pay attention. I don't know. Markel Fultz. Not enough, I'm right. 18. I think they probably won about uh, 45, 50. 50. 34. Yeah. 35. Uh, 36. 28. 32. 33. 34. <laughs> the Cavs. The Miami Heat. The Rockets. So that would be the uh, Houston, yeah, Houston, yeah. What about Houston? The Cowboys? Hey. How long have you gone to Fairless? I've gone to Fairless my entire life. What are your plans after high school? I think I'm gonna go to 
Akron, and be a nurse. Are you involved in any activities? I'm in NHS and I work at Dunkin' Donuts. Do you have any siblings? I have a little brother named Jacob. He's 10. Do you have any pets? I have a cat. Her name's Frankie. Do you got a man? I do not have a boyfriend. How does it feel being a senior? It's pretty fun to be a senior. Sometimes it's kind of stressful. It's alright though. Do you have any advice for underclassmen? I would just say have fun while you can because after high school, you got to go to college, you got to get a job, so just have fun. What's your favorite memory with Alyssa? Alright, so last year during the school day, Alyssa came to pick me up for, I think, bell ringing. And uh, we were driving back to the school and we stopped at like, a, I don't think there was a stop time, but we stopped and there was a guy way down the street, way far away, not even close. So we started to go and right as we started to go, we sped up so fast, went through the intersection, almost hit us and we just we almost died. So that's probably my favorite memory. This one time, whenever you came over to my house, I'm like, seventh grade and we were trying to make chocolate milk. <laughs> yelled at me because I didn't use the spoon to stir and we got like that really big fight because I just threw a clean spoon in the sink. Hi, I'm here with uh, Senior Roberts and he's mo here to explain more about the story. So about a year and a half ago, um, it came to my attention that here in the in the gym somebody was coming in every Tuesday only on Tuesdays and they're coming in the gym here and eating bread and just like regular white bread in a bag loaf of bread they come they sit if we want to walk in here they walk into the middle of the gym they sit on Freddy the Falcon and they sit there and eat some slices of bread about maybe half the bag and then they leave the bag there which has been frustrating to some of our custodians because they have to clean it up crumbs and just the bag and everything and i don't understand why the person just doesn't take the rest of the loaf with them and save it for next tuesday because they do this every single tuesday for like the last year and a half i think i know who the person is but um i i it's not confirmed yet i haven't personally caught this person but um, I think we're going to try to catch this person in the act. This is the only picture we have of our mystery bread person. We also have a sketch from an eyewitness that turned down the opportunity to speak. Custodians have expressed frustration because they, oh, have they, to, they have to clean up bread every single Tuesday. We actually got an exclusive interview with one of the maintenance workers here. I'm here with Mr. Kimball, one of the maintenance workers in the District of Fairless, who wants to speak yes. on this topic. Yeah. Oh. Good morning, yes. Riley. How are you? I'm doing quite well, thank you. How are you? Oh, usual stuff. You know, we have every day. We got this one. We got somebody though that keeps going into the gym, and <laughs> they're eating a loaf of bread right in the middle of the gym floor, and then they leave. They're a mess, and we haven't been able to catch who it is now, but I tell you what, we find out who it is, they're going to be in some deep trouble. Well, thank you, sir. I'll let you know if we ever catch him. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. You would think that this person would bring the bread with them and save the, the, the half of the loaf that, that they the have left. That would be thing to do. Well, and it just, it's the economical thing yeah. to do. They leave a half loaf of bread here that they could just save for next week, but no, they just leave it here and it or gets thrown away. people around the world that don't have any food. Exactly. There are children in Haiti who eat mud cookies. Yeah. But we're, we're going to find out who it is I and hope we do. expose them. They're going to get exposed. You heard it. Senor Roberts. Bam! Please, Thank if you. you have any more information about this mystery person, please inform Senor Roberts any time of the day. Thank you. Welcome to the Water Fountain Show. Today we'll be testing the water pressure and the quality of all the water in the school. Which water fountain will win?
Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. My name is Ethan Godwin, and welcome to the Water Fountain Taste Test. Over here, let's see how it gets down here. Oh, not very strong, but from this angle? I think so. Now, how cold is it? That's some good water. Fountain number two. Let's see the water pressure. Decent. I'd say very decent. <laughs> Ooh, that's the angle they want. Now, how cool is this? It's hotter than the other one. They don't. Let's try the water. I think a lot of people put their hands in the sea. Now make a line and two mountains. Ooh. You got it. It's actually like a seven. That's actually kind of cold. Decent. Decent. Quality taste. Crisp water, eight. Water the water oh. oh, that's good water pressure. Got to give it a three. Is this time? Well, let's try the test. Nice. A solid nine. With no water, we'd be so thirsty and hot. So let's be thankful for the water we got. Water is a game. Cold, but it tastes like urine. So don't waste it. Turn it off when you're done. Let's go. Do the teachers really keep all the good water to themselves? We'll have to find out. <laughs> Look at that water pressure. <laughs> um, okay. Now, time for the taste test. That is some cold agua. The winner is... And that's all for today, Fearless. See you next week on Falcon, Falcon Media. Media.